Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. You guys were really intrigued by the last video I made on Brian Kohlberger. I got some negative feedback, some positive feedback, some feedback in general, as I was my first true crime dedicated video. I decided maybe if I'm gonna eat and talk about something, I'll talk about a scandal that's in the news or I'll talk about some kind of myth or something that's not necessarily real while I eat. I want to kind of pick and choose which videos I'm gonna try and do with food. So today I wanted to talk about a story that I've been researching all day. I know we see it a lot in movies and we see it all the time where people want to kind of fake their own death. So we see it in a lot of like Law and Order SVU and TV shows and movies and all of that true crime. People always try to fake their death so that they can move on with their life. I mean, even the conspiracies that Carol Baskin's husband allegedly faked his death or faked his leaving of America to be in another country. I mean, it's common. So many people feel stuck and feel like they can't really be who they want to be. So their last or their first result is, hey, I want to kind of leave my life. I want to fake my own death. And so today we're going to talk about a 24 year old woman who allegedly stalked multiple women on Instagram, on Facebook, on multiple different social medias who looked like her and could pass as doppelgangers. And she wanted to murder or allegedly she wanted to murder one of them and carry it through to make it look like it was her because she was so deep in family turmoil and family disputes. So let's get into it. What do we know? We know that this 24 year old woman she basically was reviewing another woman called Khadidra's, who is 23 year old's Instagram. Khadidra is a 23 year old. She would be the victim in this story. And she is a beautician. She is into all things beauty, all things makeup, hair, all of it. She is a beauty girl. And she actually went to beautician school and had on a lot of her socials that she's into beauty. So it's easy for the alleged murderer to kind of follow through with those um like those plans because she feels that she's able to stalk the victims find out what they like and use it against them she went on to Khadidra's instagram i've also found out that Khadidra liked the popular singer called loon i've never heard of loon but the first attempt at allegedly contacting this doppelganger was her pretending to be the singer Loon and passing herself off as that and saying, hey, I have this opportunity for you to meet Loon. I'll, you know, talk to you or I'll bring you out and we'll talk. And so Khadidra, who is the victim in the story, went and voice messaged Loon and asked, is this real? And Loon actually messaged back and said, no, that is not me. That's someone trying to impersonate me. So that was allegedly attempt number one at luring out the victim to pursue the murder. The alleged murderer, her name was Sharibin, and I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, I looked at multiple websites to learn how to pronounce her name, but her alleged name was Sharibin. Sharibin. So Sharibin is the 24 year old who basically lured out the 23 year old. Sharibin's significant other, who is her boyfriend Shakir, this is a lot of S's. So Shakir, Sharibin, and Dahidra um, is the individual, the victim. They told the victim that she would be able to pick up a makeup kit from them if she met up with them. Alleged murderer flew into town and they planned to meet up with the victim. They met up with the victim and while they were there, Shakir, who is the significant other of the murderer or the alleged murderer, he had drove a Mercedes, which is her vehicle. And she was supposed to get out, hand her the beauty kit, kind of talk to her. She told her that she had won a beauty kit and it had have all free products in it. So she was planning on meeting up. Duh, you hear about free products and you're like, who wouldn't? I mean, who wouldn't be like, this is so cool. Especially as someone who's new to YouTube, you see a lot of sponsorships. You see a lot of things like that. So I definitely see why she went out and decided, hey, I might as well just pick up this few beauty kit, you know, that's getting offered to me. Sheree actually scouted out these doppelgangers and actually when they 
police say that they searched her social media, they found that she was not essentially stalking, but reviewing and looking at contenders of women who look like her. So she was looking at, hey, does this girl look like me? Do we have the same nose? Can I pass as her? Can I steal her life? What she did was when they met up with her on the day of the crime, they stabbed the victim allegedly 50 times or more. So 50 or more times the victim was stabbed. So they put the body in the car, allegedly, left the body in the car, feet away from the meetup area, uh, feet away from the apartment. After stabbing the victim 50 times, they carried through with pretending that the victim was her. So when her family, Sheribran, came into town, her family came into town to look for her, they were like, hey, um, we think we found our daughter's body. It's in her car. It is near her area where she usually was at, where she said she would be at. So we can't identify if it's our daughter, but I think that's my daughter. Like, I think that's her. And obviously any mother would be frantic, like that is my daughter who is in that car who was stabbed 50 times. So they bring it to authorities and authorities take the body and send it over to be identified by a um, coroner. So the coroner and the morgue and everyone takes a look at the body and they say, wait a minute, wait a minute. That is not your daughter. That is a whole different girl from a whole different area. And like now we're gonna do a whole bunch of investigation. So what they do is they launch an investigation and they realize that the DNA of the woman who was trying to fake the crime, the alleged murderer, was there at the area because it's her car, it's her things, it's everything. And so they're like, this is so weird. Like, why is someone else's body in her car? And where is she? Her and Shakir get arrested and after they get arrested, they review the case and they're looking at it and they say, why, this girl looks just like her. Well, she was trying to pass as that individual. So the lengths that she went to, went to, she didn't think about the autopsy. She didn't think about the fact that the family would come forward and maybe say, where's my daughter? Um, can we meet up? And she didn't think about, she would have to act to the girl's family pretending to be that individual. And so this is why we're, they're thinking it's alleged that she chose a doppelganger but we have no other reasoning for this to have or even news outlets have reviewed there's no other reasoning for her to have killed her because they weren't supposed to be at the same place at the same time they don't even barely know each other it was almost like she went and she stalked her down on social media and said this is the woman who i want to take her life i want to be her and you know, carried through with the crime and then said, okay, now I'm going to become this individual and I'm going to take over their life and I'm going to pretend to be them. And so everyone's wide-eyed. This is insane. Nobody was expecting this to happen. And we all think about, you know, what would I do if this thing happened to me? You know, you see things in the news and you're like, what would you do? But seriously, in this instance, she was supposed to be meeting up for a makeup kit ends up in the back of this person's car. Definitely a hard one to hear. It's all over TikTok because the victim did actually put out um, a TikTok apparently like a week or two or a few days before their murder that basically said, here are places I wanna go one day. And so it's all over TikTok because they're like, wow, she will never be able to go to these places. Another thing is that Shakir and Sh Sh I can't say her name, I'm sorry, Sharibrin. Um, basically got arrested by authorities, detained, and they are allegedly being charged with murder and counts of, counts of some other crimes. And then if they do get charged with murder, they risk life in jail sentences, all because she had family disputes and wanted to get out of her own life. She couldn't run away like everyone else and cut off her fingertips like in the movies and dye her hair and have that moment, you know, that slim shady moment where you dye your hair and you're on the run. She couldn't have that moment. She had to resort to something way worse than anything else. Way worse than dyeing your hair. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to stumble upon my channel. Please let me know if there's anything else you guys want to hear about and if you have any suggestions because I am new to this and this is my second true crime video. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.